hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can add multiple images inside your powerpoint presentation and basically you can download this file as an attachment inside the browser so you will see that basically we have a simple uh, input field out there here we can select multiple images here so let me go to the images folder and let's let me select here these uh, six images so six png images are selected here you can see that guys we have selected these six images and there is a download button out there if I press this download button you will see my PowerPoint presentation will be downloaded as a PPTX file if I now open this inside PowerPoint you will see these six images are inserted here successfully this is the first image inside its own slide and uh, if I say the second image this is a second third image fourth image fifth image and the sixth image so with the help of this application guys you can create powerpoint presentations and add multiple images inside this you will using this uh, simple html form you can select any image of your choice let me select three images here so you can create uh, a bulk of uh, powerpoint presentations without having to go to powerpoint and add images manually you can do this automatically using this simple javascript code that i will show you in this video and uh, with the help of this you can just add these images so let's get started so for this building this application guys uh, i have using this uh, popular library which makes it very much easy in order to create powerpoint presentations the name of the library is pptx genjs so this is basically the library guys basically it allows you to create powerpoint presentations with the regular javascript and it's an open source library where we can create multiple PowerPoint presentations inside the browser. For this specific tutorial guys, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website. So you can go to the description of this video and you can copy paste all the source code and read all the so uh, blog post also. So let's start building this application guys from scratch. So we will write this code from scratch here step by step i will tell you how basically we have built this application so now let me just uh, open this notepad here and this is all the source code is there basically let me just copy this source code here and paste it here and step by step i will write this code so let's get started guys so the very first thing you need to do basically you need to include the cdn of this library pptx i have given this uh, links also in the description so basically you can copy these links and just after the title you need to paste it so you will see we are including these two library links which are needed for this library pptxgen min.js and all this stuff so let me zoom in so that you can see here exactly so here guys we will have to have a simple input field out there input type of file here we can select our image files from the a model window and basically we will be giving an id to it of files and here we can upload multiple files so we will be providing the multiple attribute and then close this and this is required guys so you the user must submit this and then we will have a simple button which will simply say to the user that uh, download powerpoint presentation and basically we will be binding a on click event handler to this button so whenever the user clicks this button this function will automatically execute which is the download function and now we just need to include our javascript code guys so just write this inside script.js so you will simply write this file so the very first thing guys we will basically we will wrap all this code inside the download function so this function will execute whenever you press the button button here so the very first thing we will do guys basically we will create a new instance of this library which is called as ppt x g e n j s so this will invoke a new uh, powerpoint presentation and inside this uh, we also need to get the reference of the files element so document.get element by id and we have given the files element and id here you will see that this is we are getting the reference of it after we get the reference guys we need to add a uh, slides so we can add a slides guys we need to simply declare uh, multiple slides so basically this will be an array 
so we will be inserting multiple images so each image will be having its own slide so that's why we have declared this array variable and now we will be getting the image files guys which the user select and for this we will be using a for each loop and basically we will be constructing the array from the array from method and here we will be passing the files dot files so basically guys uh, if the user select uh, multiple image file this if you if i show you here what it meant by this we can use a for each loop here for each and for each file we have got the f and the index variable like this you can also call it as i also and if i now console log f and also if i console log i so what would happen guys if i now refresh the application now if i select here multiple images let's suppose i select uh, these six images so what will happen if i pr press this button you will see in the console you will see basically this is the first file uh, indexing start from zero so this is the first one second third fourth fifth sixth and each file object has various properties which is the name of the file which you have selected the size the type which is a png file here and now we just need to convert this to a blob object so that we can insert this image inside the powerpoint presentation so now we will just use a little bit more javascript code here so just go to script.js so now inside this for each loop guys instead of console logging it we will simply say slides and the square brackets and here we will be incrementing i plus 1 because indexing starts from 0 so 0 plus 1 will be 1 so this will be the first slide which will be added here guys which will be we add the slides using this method which is add slide so this contain this library contains a method which automatically creates a slide using this function and after this guys we will be having this uh, unique code here which is generated using the built-in function which is url dot create object url so this is the main business logic of this application guys we are generating a unique url of the image that we select and basically we just need to pass the image that we selected that's all after that it will generate a unique url and with the help of that we can simply insert that so we can simply say slides i plus one and then we will simply add an image into the powerpoint presentation this basically contains a method which is add image so here it takes an object guys which have various options so the first option is the path of the image so we will be simply be invoking the data here that we have this is a unique path it generated and then comes the x coordinate so we will be starting from 0% and y y coordinate will also be 0% and it will take the full width and full width of the slide and width option is also there so 100% width and height is also 100% so you just need to surround these values inside double quotes that's it so after you do this guys we just need to save our powerpoint presentation so we can simply call a method which is called as write file that's all so whenever you call this method your file will be downloaded it as the attachment so now if i open this now and if i now select here these images and six files are selected guys and if i now click this button you will see my powerpoint presentation will be downloaded it as the attachment and now if you open this you will see all these image files will be there inside your powerpoint presentation this is the first image file this is the second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one so basically if you are uh, having a company and if you want to generate uh, random powerpoint presentations using some random images you can create your powerpoint presentations using this simple application I have given all the source code in the description of this video guys please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.